we had a parent submit a really good question to our Ask the Expert page, and they wanted to ask, should I give my child one more year before they go into kindergarten? Let's see what the panel said. It's completely against it. My wife was like, you know, what do we do? Um, the school district was really pushing that we put him in TK just because of his age. Because, And I'm like, did you guys conduct an assessment? Like, why are you making this recommendation? Like, I come from a background where you don't make recommendations unless you conduct an assessment first. And then you determine what the needs are of the individual. And then you make recommendations. And I was completely against it. And I was friends with the uh, pupil personnel director um, at our school district. And she said, Eric, do what you want. Like, if you don't want to put him in TK, you don't have to. You know, but she goes, I think you should put him in TK. And I'm like, and this is somebody who, you know, she's a doctorate level. Um, uh, uh, she has her doctorate in education. And um, she's the pupil personnel director. And, you know, she has many more years of experience than I do in the field of education and in, in behavior analysis. And I um, consider her a mentor. So I was like, yeah, you know, she's kind of letting me make the choice, which, you know, from the very beginning they were. But I was like, I just really don't know. And then I go to a birthday party. And at the birthday party, um, it's like at one of those places like my gym. And I'm watching the kids and there's a lady standing next to me and we start talking. She's like, you know, of course, all the kids at the birthday party are from the preschool and they're from the same city and they're all going to go to the same school. And I said, oh, you know, what are you going to do with your son? Are you putting him in kindergarten or are you putting him in TK? Or no, the first thing I, yeah, I, you know, I said, um, yeah, are you going to put him in TK or kindergarten? She goes, oh, I'm putting him in TK. I'm like, wow. And I'm like, she goes, I've been a special ed teacher at Rancho Vista and I've been a general ed teacher at other schools in the district for you know 25 years and i'm like wow and she goes uh and there's no question my son has to go into tk and i'm like well did you get him assessed and she goes no she goes see that little boy over there that's my son he's with that little red-headed kid and i'm like oh god that's my son <laughs> they're nowhere else where the other group is at you know they're not following directions they're not staying on task they're not you know they're just doing their own thing they're playing together and i'm like all right i'm sold <laughs> Lachlan, <you're going> to <laughs> That's funny. Uh, when we decided to put Lucy in TK for the August birthday, um, Cameron was kind of not really for it. Um, and I did like a ton of research and I gave him, I laid it all out because he was the youngest. So he had the experience of being a September birthday and being one of the younger. And I had the opposite. I was a December birthday. So I was 10 months older than him in, in the same grade. And he's like, I did fine. I was fine. And I was like, I know, but like all of the research shows that you never, you, you, you're never gonna like um, make the wrong decision by giving them that extra year. And uh, so we put her in it. We had such a great experience because we were so lucky to have that TK experience before we moved here. And then we were able to get kindergarten too. So it was so great. But then for Kingston, he was an April birthday. It's not even close. It's not even mm -mm. fall or summer, but, um, and this is pre pandemic. And I remember talking to his teacher and it mostly was because of his size. He is such a little peanut that like, even in pre-K the here in preschool, like he was like way smaller than all of the kids. And I was just like, we had such a great experience for Lucy. Um, I was like, why not do that again? And I had to kind of convince Cameron a little bit too, because it was much different. But um, I feel like even though like now he's in first grade and he's like almost a year older than half the kids in there, more than that. Um, and he's still much shorter than everybody, but you could tell he has this confidence about him. And he is one of the leaders, despite being, one of the smaller kids and like a little bit more softer spoken. And I, I know that's a hundred percent, you know, because mm -hmm. we left him. And I remember talking to his preschool teacher and she was just like, she had two sets of twins and um, herself. And she'd been preschool teaching for like 20 something years. And she's like, Monica, she's like, and the thing is Kingston has school readiness. He wasn't the kid that's been out. He's like really good at sitting at the table, really good at attending, had all the prerequisite reading, writing, everything. It was purely based on his like, you know, size and also he's a quiet demeanor and she was just like all the parents even if he's ready right now I guarantee you when he gets to middle school and all of those things like you'll never regret not one parent ever has come back saying they regretted keeping their kid for one more year in preschool or whatever so anyway that was my experience with my kiddos 
If you are a parent and you want to ask our panel a question, feel free to visit us on social media or you can submit your question on our website at parentlikeaprofessional.com.